Okay, uh, so this is uh, just a quick intro video on how to get started on the bottom half of the windshield. So you finished the windshield part one, you've got it shelled, um, and so now you're ready to start on the next section. You're going to need to go into a more detailed drawing here. So our goal is to have uh, our windshield look something like this. Maybe if you, I'm not worried about you creating it uh, in a transparent color, but we need the, the bottom section that is actually gonna fit inside the automobile box car. So I'm gonna show you how to get started on that. Um, and then I can go into some of the more common errors in an additional video later on once, once we have, once we kind of dive into that and I have a chance to see where you guys are gonna make mistakes. Um, so when you're in, when you're in this, um, when you're in this part, we're trying to create a the bottom section of this, and it's flat on the bottom, and then it follows the curve of the top of the windshield. So it's going to follow that curve on the underside of your windshield. So it's you can't really create a sketch on this part of the windshield and then extrude down. But what you can do is create a sketch out in space and then extrude back up into the windshield. So what we'll do is we'll create what's called an offset plane. And so you go to your plane tool and we're going to zoom in here and we want to make sure we get in the center. And you can see that the offset plane, the plane is, is going along the edge of it by having both of the, the edges, the inside edge and the outside edge of the, the top of the windshield highlighted. So you want to make sure it doesn't look like that. You want to make sure it doesn't look like that. You want to make sure it's highlighted on both of them. Okay, so we're going to select that and then we're going to change our offset here to a distance of 0.67 and then I'll talk to you about where I'm getting that distance from. So 0.67. Okay, and so if I look at it from the side now, I can see that there's my offset plane there and that's 0.67 inches from the bottom of the windshield. And here's where I'm getting that number. If we look in the detailed drawings here, you can see we look a little closer here. You can see that the bottom of the windshield is 0.67 inches from, or the bottom of the bottom of the windshield is 0.67 inches from the bottom of the top of the windshield. So this edge here, 0.67. And so what we'll do is we will create on the work plane offset, we'll now work in this drawing and create this rectangle using the uh, fillet tool for the corners and add the little notches on the side uh, we'll create this drawing on this plane. So I'll just give you a, a start to it. So we'll start on that plane. And when you create your first your first sketch, again, if you've gotten this far, you want to just make sure that you're not constraining it to anything that's already in the sketch. So I like to start this sketch in the middle. Okay, and then I know as I constrain it around, when I go around the part, this one should be 0.68. And then the next one should be from the same edge. It should be, I'm pulling that from here, 2.22, okay? And then you're gonna go up and down in the same direction. So this is this drawing is done using datum dimensioning. So you can see that it's all coming back to the same two lines. If it's, if it's dimensioning across the part left to right, then it's coming back to the back edge of the windshield. If it's dimensioning going from the bottom of the windshield, it's always coming back to that bottom number on the windshield. So this top line should be 2.26. And then this one should be 0.29, okay? So I'm not gonna go any further into it. Um, you still need to make sure that you get the fillet on the, the corners and that is with a radius of 0.15 and you still need to get all the little notches in there and there is a little detailed view on the notches of what the size of the notches and then what the how far it should be sticking out from your shell so you got it you got a lot of work to do in there but this will at least give you a start on the work plane um, so you're not completely lost and like oh, I don't even know what to do next because that's really the tricky part that's kind of the new thing that we're adding in this is that work plane offset okay so good luck and uh, I'll see you in class.